She would be the what first to say those strength, that strength came from her firm, strong, unwavering belief in God. She was as dedicated to the mission of spreading the gospel Absolutely. as her husband was. All right, we are now she preparing was. to remove... As we said in the obituary, we are. Preparing to remove the coffin from the back of the horse. So give you a moment to take in this moment. Absolutely. As Don Wilton, Billy Graham's pastor, awaits reception of the casket. Paul Bear is stepping up. To the left, that is Will Graham, grandson, son of Franklin Graham. The other grandsons. of the Paul Bearers here are close friends and associates from the Cove and the Billy Graham Evangelical Association. There will be 14 Paul Bearers at the funeral. Those are the 12 grandsons of Billy Graham plus the two grandson-in-laws, the two men that are married to Billy Graham's granddaughters. Carol, the casket is being taken into the library itself. And they're going to go around to the back and would appear to enter the old farmhouse. I'm just going to watch what's going to happen here. Mark DeMoss telling us that this is a plan that uh, started many years ago between Cliff Barrows and Billy Graham. But uh, it has been a plan with some fluidity, especially given the Congress requesting the lying of honor in the coming week. So they have had to ad lib a bit and have had to change some things. So we are seeing the casket go into the library itself. We understand, Carol, there will be a private family time in the library somewhat akin to what happened at the Cove today. Of course, the private family time at the Cove also included uh, many of the people who worked there who became over the years great friends of the Reverend Billy Graham. We heard from a number of employees who Correct. were devastated at his death because they considered him not an employer so much as, as a deep, dear friend. Um, one of the most moving things from this morning was after the absolutely after the hearse left, uh, a group of nurses started singing a, a fine old hymn, uh, just spontaneously it appeared. These are the people who took care of the Reverend Billy Graham in the last years of his life when health troubles overtook him. Um, but everyone turned out, 250 people at the Cove Michael to give him a, a send off. Mm. You know you've been a good boss when the staff turns out in mass like that. Exactly. There's no sense that Billy Graham was the boss, no. He was just one of the people serving God in the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. That's how he saw himself. And a point about this family, Carol, this family has shared this man with the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and at times that has not been easy. Uh, it has not been easy on them and it's not been easy on him. Billy Graham suffered his share of health problems uh, across the years was hospitalized for exhaustion, for pneumonia, multiple times.
And he once told me in an interview, Carol, that he regretted at times taking so many engagements. He said, I could have done more to serve the cause of Christ if I had taken fewer. It's hard to know Billy who... Graham was always looking for a way that he could have been better. It's hard to know who could have done more for that cause than Billy Graham. He devoted his entire Correct. life to it. Michael, Correct. we are looking at video right now of the tent, and it is enormous. We didn't really get the scale of that when we saw you up there this past week while mm -hmm. they were putting it up. But that is a huge tent, and how many did you say it's supposed to hold? It is, Carol. It's about twice the size of the one the, the one we saw 10 years ago during the dedication of the Billy Graham Library. I, I do believe you could probably put three football fields uh, under this tent, at least two, maybe two and a half. It is enormous, uh, and the, the work to get it up in time, to get it up there and, and running, and they're raising light rafters, and so much other work is to be done here. Um, it gives you some idea of the scale of the impact of Billy Graham's life. And again, he would say, what's all the fuss? But then again, he would know, he would deflect that fuss to God, the God he preached about around the world, Carol. Michael, with that thought, we are going to leave you in Charlotte. One more look here at what appears to be the living room in the old family homestead. Billy Graham will lie in repose there uh, for viewing later in the day, we assume. But we believe now they have gone into the library itself for some family time and prayer time. The Reverend Billy Graham will lie in repose in a closed coffin on Monday and Tuesday at the Billy Graham Library in Charlotte. People will be able to visit and pay their respects. Then on Wednesday and Thursday, the Reverend Graham will lie in honor at the U.S. Capitol Rotunda. And next Friday, family and 2,300 invited guests will attend a private funeral at the Billy Graham Library in Charlotte. We're going to take you back now to local programming, and we want to remind you that we will see you again here at 6 o'clock.